Tony, yes. we're in the sponsors lounge here at Ramsbottom United Football Club. You've been involved with the club itself for a good number of years. How did you start your journey? I was involved at Mosley for quite a few years and briefly at Rosendale United. I finished up at I finished Rosendale United early 90s and I started coming down to watch Ramsbottom be my local side. And they were then in the Manchester League. They finally got promoted to the North West Counties League and I started to watch them more regular, although I used to be a Berry fan. Um, about 20 years ago, I was offered the position of the PA man down here. And gradually from that, I've got involved with doing match reports for the papers. Uh, then I was assisting the secretary. Um, then gradually took over the secretary's job about six or seven years ago. So I've been doing that ever since. Um, and just any jobs that need doing, basically. Uh, but don't ask me to divot the pitch. That's not my department at all. But everything admin, admin wise, um, I get involved in. I deal with the FA, with the league, with the registrations of players and all that sort of thing. Sounds fantastic. And of course, like any level of football, you've seen highs and you've probably seen lows during your time with the club. But let's stay positive. What highs would you highlight for you personally? Two things. Uh, when we won the North West Counties League, uh, I think it was about 2000 and 10, 11. Um, it was very difficult getting out of the North West Counties League because there's only one promotion place. So we won it down here with a right battle with Runcorn Town. I think we finished the season having to go 13 matches with something like 12 wins and a point and we just managed to snatch the title. And we had quite a big crowd down here. We beat um, we, we beat the, the, the opponents, Congleton Town, I think it was, 5-2 on the day. And it was a wonderful celebration going into the Northern Premier League, which we'd never been in before. Then a couple of years later, with Anthony Johnson and Bernard Morley as, as the managers, we got promoted again via the playoffs uh, into the Premier Division of the Northern Premier League. That particular week, we went up to Darlington on the Wednesday night. There were 2,000 people up there and about 100 people from Ramy. Darlington obviously expected to beat us comfortably. Well, he didn't. We absolutely annihilated them on the night, which was wonderful. The journey back was great. And on the Saturday, we went up to Bamber Bridge, again, slightly underdogs for the playoff final. And we won there in extra time. So that particular week, we had two brilliant performances, both away from home, to get us into the Premier Division of the Northern Premier League. The next season, John and Bernard moved on to Salford City and we struggled a little bit. So uh, you're saying about the ups and downs of football. We've had the ups, those are the downs. It's football, it's non-league football. You accept the good times, but you, you also accept the bad ones. And since then, last season, we had a very good season here. We got to the last 16 of the FA Trophy. Going down to Weymouth on a Tuesday night, you can imagine the, the, the journey that took. There were 17 hardy um, Ramsbottom United supporters who made the journey and credit to them for that. We came back with a win. We then had Fyle down here, who again were expected to absolutely annihilate us, being three, four divisions higher. It was an awful night. The rain threw it down. The pitch was muddy. It was horrendous. And in all my years of watching football, that's the best game of football I have ever seen. It finished up five apiece and it was just brilliant from the kickoff to the final whistle. So again, those are good times. We went to file the last replay for one, but we don't care. It was, it was, that was non-league and that's what non-league is all about to me. And Tony, although we've communicated by email a number of times in recent months, this is the first occasion that we've met and we'll come to the reason why in a moment. Mm -hmm. But on arrival here at Ramsbottom, we started chatting and I must say, I was very impressed with your knowledge of the Welsh game. Love it. Absolutely love it. My lad, who's no longer with us, unfortunately, moved um, to live in near Flint. Um, and I started taking him to watch Airbus whenever I could get the chance to go over there. So Airbus became my Welsh team, if you like. But I've also, when I was at Mosley, we used to play Bangor City, Carnarvon Town, Rill, all the North Wales Coast clubs. And I just used to love going over to Wales to watch the football. So I've been to a lot of grounds in Wales. I've just kept the interest going. I get a Welsh magazine and all this sort of thing. SC4, or S4C, sorry, wonderful television station. Don't understand a word they're talking about, but I love watching all the games, all, all, all the Welsh matches. And I've just got a great affinity with Welsh football. And I think when you get interested in something, you take it on board. You learn as much as you can about it. And I like to think my knowledge of Welsh football for an Englishman is pretty good. But I just love the game in Wales. 
Well, from our chat with, that we had earlier, very good indeed. And finally, Tony, the reason why we're here today, Josh and Mammy, TNS player, he's on loan at Ramsbottom United. How's he doing? Rubbish. <laughs> He's, he's been very good. He struggled to get in the side early on in the season. Um, he wasn't getting too many games, full games. He's come back in, and to be fair, I think what he's learning with us here at Ramey, because we've got, to be fair, we've got a good team at the moment. I think we scored 65 league goals already this year. And he's, he's come in with quite a few as well. So I think it's helped him to develop the fact he's playing with some other good players at this level. Um, I'd love to see him stay here, so I'm saying no more than that. <laughs> Tony, thank you for your time this afternoon. Very much appreciated indeed. And can I say that I'm here with John Rhodes, the Head of Recruitment at the New Saints Football Club. We've both had a very warm welcome indeed, and that's appreciated. Lovely. Thank you very much for that.